What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we are talking about a supposed leak on the 8-core Coffee Lake CPU that is supposedly coming out with the official Coffee Lake chipset. Now the irony is not lost to me that literally in my video just the other day I said that we hadn't gotten any new information on this yet and then videocards.com basically goes out and finds a little bit of information so that's not lost to me but I'm excited nonetheless. So when we're talking about Coffee Lake, let me back up a second. For you guys who don't know, Ryzen really threw a you know a curveball in terms of the PC market. It was AMD's kind of re-entry into, you know, I would say kind of playing the game. I, there was a lot of AMD core fans, but AMD had lost so much money. Bulldozer was a big letdown in terms of CPU architecture, and so they really didn't have anything for, I would argue, the last four or five years until Ryzen came out. However, what that did to Intel is it forces them to react. So originally, Kaby Lake was supposed to be the star of 2017. Intel had no intention of releasing Coffee Lake until first quarter of this year, but they were forced to step it up because Ryzen was a game changer with the amount of core threads that you could get for the cost, same with Threadripper. And so they basically made a stopgate, a 370 chipset to support the six core Coffee Lake CPUs that weren't really supposed to be released at all at that time just to get something out into the market which obviously pissed off a bunch of Intel people because they had just bought either Kaby Lake or Sky Lake um, within like literally six months of each other. So it was really, you know, if you were on Intel, it was pretty dang frustrating. However, if the leak is true, we're finally starting to see a little bit of that. So it, in this basically piece of information for videocards.com, we get an idea of the, you know, it's like a core clock. We see eight uh, cores, that kind of thing. But 2.2 gig, uh, gigahertz obviously is nothing to get it over excited about. And most likely it's either because 3D Mark is reading that information wrong or it could be similar to a Xeon where maybe that's the base clock but it has a very uh, high boost clock. You know, who knows? But this is the first little bit of information that we're seeing on potentially the 8-core Coffee Lake coming out from Intel. Now, the, what you have to take um, all this with a grain of salt is that even if this is true, remember that if you are currently with Coffee Lake, you are not going to be able to support the CPU on the uh, current chipset, the 370. You are going to be forced to buy the new chipset as the current one will not support an 8-core processor. So if you're on the Intel side of things, get ready to get out your wallet and th you know thread out that cash again because essentially uh, that's what they're asking for. And remember guys, I'm not a fanboy either way. If the value is good enough, I'll be right there with you buying Coffee Lake or an 8-core variant if it competes in terms of cost and performance because for me those are the two things I care about. So when we're in looking forward to the future guys, I do hope that Intel has something like this to offer um, because I want the competition to continue and competition is always good for us, the consumer. So anyway guys, if you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. But get subscribed, my channel continues to grow. Remember, 7,500 subscribers and we're doing another giveaway. Enter the APU giveaway if you haven't already. Thanks Patreon guys, I released a little uh, picture today which I hope you find is funny. If you're part of my Patreon, you got access to that. And everyone who follows me on Instagram, Twitter, thank you to everybody who continues to support me and make my channel such a success. Use my Amazon affiliate link if you're buying through Amazon as well if you want to support me there. And we hope to see you next time here on Gear Inc.